Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the third and last episode of the Yamaha Extended Engine series. So if you haven't watched first and second part, so I will link them here and down in the description box below. So do check them out. Here I am removing the uh, remaining old gasket material from the surface. Uh, this is very important because if you do not clean it properly then the new gasket won't seal properly and the oil will start leaking. Oil can also leak if you scratch any of the mating surfaces while scraping. So be careful and do not scratch any of the gasket surface. This is a very good time to replace your oil seals, uh, though they are not bad. I am replacing all of them uh, because let's say for example after 6 months one of your oil seals gets bad. Then for that one oil seal you have to completely disassemble and do all these things. So uh, while you are at it and you can easily access them, my suggestion would be replace all of them. I replaced the connecting rod and the big end bearing. The crankshaft is just back from the workshop doing the same. Uh, now it feels firm and there is no play. I have shown how to check for the wear and play in the big end bearing in the second part of, part of this series. Uh, these are the two new crank bearings. They are both identical by their outer diameter but they differ by their inner diameter. The one with the larger inner diameter goes on the magneto side and the one with the smaller diameter goes on the clutch side. These are the bearing numbers. This is for the magneto side, this is for the clutch side. Press the bearing evenly from all the sides and make sure it is going square. Press it until it is flush to the crankcase surface. So let's start assembling the gearbox. This is the drive axle. These are the two dock clutches. This is where the uh, small chain sprocket will fit in. This is the main axle. This is where the clutch housing will uh, fit in.
smaller guide bar and a smaller fork will go on the right side which is for the fourth gear for the main axle that shift fork goes in here for the fourth gear now the remaining two shift forks are identical and they control the first second and third gear these are to be inserted in the grooves made in the these two dock clutches these are the two grooves first insert them in their respective grooves and now you can insert the guide bar now to assemble a cam you have to remove the guide bars from their position and set them aside so that the cam can go in there are three tracks on the cam the middle one is for the fourth gear which is uh, for the right shift fork and remaining two are for the first second and third gear which is for the left two shift forks so insert the shift forks in their respective tracks after assembly check all the gears by rotating the cam and make sure uh, everything works fine A quick tip when you are dealing with the bolts with a different length you don't have to remember which bolt goes where when the bolt is in its proper place it will protrude out approximately an inch or so and all the bolts when they are in their proper places they will protrude out by the same amount as the others and by this way you can tell if the bolt is in its proper place or not
while assembling the kick shaft insert this clip in this groove this nut lock the shaft from the other side by inserting a screw driver in the in between the chain and pocket Let me quickly mount all these things and get back to you.